In this video, we will see how to upload firmware to a Crestron device. First, what exactly is firmware? Firmware is a software program or set of instructions programmed on the hardware device. It's similar to the software program discussed earlier in this series, but contains more fundamental functions necessary for device operation. Typically, firmware sits between the hardware and software and contains instructions for the hardware telling it how to carry out instructions given by the software program. In some devices, this is also known as embedded software. Some examples of firmware are Crestron devices. Firmware in a touchscreen, for example, determines how to display the user interface project or determines how to display streaming video. The BIOS of a personal computer controls how to display the basic input and output systems, how to access the hard drive or memory. Mobile device operating systems can also be classified as firmware. Firmware allows a platform to run custom applications and is responsible for common functions such as Wi-Fi connectivity or system clock. As well, games console dashboards control common features, allowing a platform for games to run. Firmware is the important link between hardware and the software program. Firmware coordinates the activities of the hardware to successfully run the program. Occasionally, we may upgrade the firmware. This could be to improve device functionality by making it more efficient or by adding features. Perhaps the latest operating system for a mobile device adds a cool new feature. New releases of firmware also can correct any issues or bugs that may have been found since the device's release without the need for a hardware replacement. Occasionally, a firmware upgrade may be required to allow a device to run a new feature that's been added to the program code. There are many ways to upload firmware to Crestron devices. Firmware may be uploaded by the System Information Tool in Toolbox. This is generally for older devices. We can also use the network device Tree View, looked at in the previous section. When right-clicking on a device in the Tree View, one of the options is sending firmware to that device. Another method to update firmware is FTP. This is not covered in this class. Newer devices can use the Package Update tool. These devices have multiple components to the firmware, and the Package Update tool is an easy way to check and upload the necessary components. This is the method we'll use in the next demonstration. The Package Update tool can be accessed by Easy Config. Here, the Easy Config tool is open for the touchscreen. At the top of the window, we see the model information, including the version or firmware number. To upgrade the firmware, click on the Firmware button. This opens the package update tool for this device. From here, browse for the firmware file to send to the device. Different devices will have different file extensions. For the touchscreen, 3 series processor, or other newer devices, the file extension will be PUF in the package update tool. Click Send to launch the tool. The tool checks the device and displays anything to be done. In this case, one task should be performed. When we're ready to send the firmware, we click Update. This process may take time, so ensure that no one wants to use the device before you start the firmware update process. While the device is processing the update, it is not operational. It is also not advisable to reboot or power cycle the device during this process. The tool will first transfer the firmware. This has been sped up in this example. Once the firmware has been transferred, the device will process the update. Finally, the device will reboot. When the reboot is complete, the tool will recheck the firmware and verify the process was successful. Wait for the tool to verify there were no failures during the process and check the device for normal operation. The firmware update is now complete. Close the package update tool and go back to easy config to do any other configuration as required.